Hi, I'm Robert and you're watching Contentment Channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new appliance we have that we're going to be able to run on our solar generator. And it is a chest freezer made into a refrigerator. We bought a five cubic foot chest freezer. It is compact, it's small inside. And of course, you might be wondering how are you are going to convert this chest freezer into a refrigerator and use the mister. But we chose a chest freezer because it's compact. It has uh, better insulated walls. And when you open it up, the cold air sinks. The cold air stays in the freezer, unlike an upright that will escape when you open the door. We chose a small chest freezer because it is compact, smaller area to keep cool, and it's more efficient. The electric usage, according to the maker, says this particular model uses 218 kilowatts per year as a freezer. But when we use it as a refrigerator, it uses much less. So basically this we're hoping and we think we'll use a less than a half a kilowatt a day. Our solar generator we named Buzz <clears throat> and you can see in other videos how we built Buzz but it's a mobile solar generator and Buzz powers everything here at Contentment right now. We've even used it to run a welder, a 50 amp welder. It's got that capability and so we have here enough lights and enough electrical outlets to be um, legal and we can run the computer, we can charge our phones, we can watch TV, <clears throat> the well pump is on there and we will be having another appliance coming soon that we'll be using too. And for right now, um, Buzz is doing a great job supplying with supplying us with all of the power we need. Of course, we can use it to <clears throat> um, run our uh, compressors, staple guns, charge the batteries for the uh, power tools. This freezer came with a, a styrofoam platform and <clears throat> we're trying out the platform to see if maybe it might be more insulating than just having um, the freezer on the floor and it will help it be more efficient. We're going to show you how we convert this to a refrigerator right now. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> E-chip will explain the technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, so this is a temperature control module that's made by Johnson Controls. I don't know, it costs about 80 bucks and um, it is uh, set to it's adjustable but will control temperatures anywhere from about uh, 40 below uh, zero to 212 degrees uh, Fahrenheit you can get controls in different ranges but this is the one that you know work, would work best for this I don't know if you can see me but maybe you can what we've been doing is just going and getting ice once a week we got uh, <clears throat> some of those name brand knockoffs that hold ice a little bit longer than uh, a regular ice chest. So it's been an inconvenience, but it's all we could do to keep any kind of fresh items here at Contentment right until now. So <clears throat> I'm going to be anxious to see if this works. So installation on this, it's kind of difficult. Here's what you do. You hang it on the wall, and then you unplug the freezer. You plug in the thermostat control, and then you plug the freezer into the thermostat control. I know, it's exhausting, isn't it? ASD. Yeah, it's, okay. It's waiting for me to, uh, it says it's 82 degrees in here because that's what it's reading off of this sensor. Um, and it's waiting for me to uh, program it, I'm sure. 
for the temperature control. The next step is you take this temperature control, <coughs> or that's this thermostat, the sensor, and you feed it into the ice box, the appliance, and then just hang in the open in the center of the box there. Okay. Close it, and hopefully we won't have a problem with the seal here. That will probably be fine. 68. And as you can see, it's already sensing the temperature. Now we need to program it for our range. Okay, so I finished setting this up, I think. Uh, right now, it thinks the, the temperature sensor reads that the uh, freezer is at 14 degrees. And that's because I have had this thing set at the coldest setting. I don't want this thermostat in here interfering with the other one uh, up there. So I'll just leave it coldest. Uh, that, that assures me that whenever there's power to this, that the compressor will kick on and begin cooling no matter what. And then, um, you know, the actual um, turning on and turning off of the freezer will be handled here. So, I've got this set to turn off, to turn the freezer off when the internal uh, temperature gets as low as 37 degrees because I want to freeze stuff, okay? Then I have it set to come on again when the internal temperature gets as high as 45 degrees. And uh, so there we go. This is a, um, this function, I've got this turned on. It tells me if there is power uh, to the freezer or not. If there's not, it'll, it'll warn me that the uh, circuit's open and that there's nothing getting, there's no power getting to the freezer uh, just so I can protect things. So anyway, yeah, and it's pretty much that simple. We'll see how it does. Okay, and so regarding the sensor here, um, there are ways you can deal with this thing so it's not in your way. At some point, I could drill a hole in the bottom of this and have it come up through the middle, stiffen it with a wire so it hangs out in the middle or something like that. For now, I'm just going to leave this as is while we test this and make sure that sensor is where we want it. Um, if you have it too close to the top, of course, it'll give you a warmer reading. If you have it close to the bottom, it'll be a colder reading. And there may be internal hot spots, you know, what they call hot spots inside this thing. Who knows? But uh, we'll play with it and see what we get. We'll get it right. Mm -hmm.